Hey lovely, Sophia here. So if you've been watching me for a while, you'll know that I am very passionate about helping you to stay calm, relaxed and confident when it comes to the rest of your pregnancy, labour and giving birth. And did you know, and you might not have heard me talk about this before, you do not need to forcefully push for your baby to be born. So I know that's what you see in the films. Maybe you've been building up all your life to that moment where you get to grit your teeth and make all the veins on your neck pop out and clench your fists and clench your jaw. But actually, those are all the worst things that you can possibly do. So actually, your jaw is related to your pelvis. And so when your jaw is tight and clenched, so is your pelvis. When your fists are tight and clenched, that affects the rest of your body too. When you are creating tension in your body, when you're creating fear, when you're telling your body and your mind, you have to do something now, this is a huge dangerous thing, guess what? You can actually stall your labour or you're likely to more likely to tear, you're more likely to feel uncomfortable after you give birth to your baby. And so what happens when we find a different way to birth your baby? You guessed it, labour can become shorter, more comfortable, you reduce the risk of tearing, you increase the risk of you feeling good, of feeling strong, of starting off motherhood feeling empowered and being there for your baby in the very best possible way. You also start off motherhood feeling that you have made the right choices and that you're not regretting the kind of birth that you had. Now, if you've already had a birth and you have a child and that birth didn't go according to plan, please, please, please do not use this as a stick to beat yourself up with. What we're telling you now is that we know more now. We know how to support you to feel calm and relaxed. We know more about how to recondition and to program your mind so that you promote and improve and encourage all of your chances of having a better birth. But if you think that you have to go in there and push like you are trying to push a slow boat to somewhere in the universe, then please rest assured that it does not have to be that way. What we teach is a lovely relaxing breathing technique that really supports you to be able to release and let go through your body, which also means if you've already had a vaginal birth or a C-section birth and you're now looking to have a vaginal birth after a C-section, also known as a VBAC, then this can really support you to feel more comfortable. It's not putting the same pressure on your abdomen. And so I would love for you to begin to learn some more ways about how to feel calm and relaxed and confident about giving birth. So I've created something to help you do that. It's a little ebook and audio called The Seven Ways to Start Feeling Calm and Confident About Giving Birth. What I've just shared with you just now is one of those ways. And if you would like to get your hands on that technique and on six other ways to start feeling better about giving birth, then pop your details in the link below and this will be on its way to you ASAP. So whatever you do, give up all thoughts of forced pushing and allow yourself to begin to enjoy the rest of your pregnancy and know that what you do need to be an expert in is feeling calm and relaxed. And I'd love to show you how. Lots of love for now. Bye bye.